Hey guys, Alex here at eVelo Electric Bicycles. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between mechanical brakes and hydraulic disc brakes. So we're here with a few different bikes and this one has hydraulic disc brakes and you'll see that this actually has a hydraulic reservoir and it's filled with some mineral oil. Really light action, easy to press and there's a hydraulic line that runs down all the way to the brake caliper down here. And on this one over here, you have the mechanical disc brakes. So you can see that there's our lever and there's a traditional cable that runs down to a mechanical caliper and that brake lever actuates that caliper. You don't really see anything moving on the hydraulic brakes over there. So there's pros and cons to both systems. I think the, the biggest pro for the mechanical disc brakes is they're very easy to adjust. You don't need any kind of special tools. There's just a regular bicycle cable here. And again, there's also some adjustments down here at the caliper. One of the negative side effects is that you do need to adjust this every couple hundred miles. As those pads wear down, you're gonna to wanna to tighten that cable up. And that does require adjustment. But again, it's definitely easy to adjust yourself. It's a do-it-yourself sort of thing. You can also service these roadside, which is pretty nice sometimes. So there's some advantages to the hydraulic system as well. This lever is absolutely super smooth. It's also adjustable the distance. So if you have smaller hands or lower hand strength, that hydraulic lever is really gonna be the way to go. And you can see that, again, there's that reservoir, and that's gonna run all the way down, and there's a hose going to the caliper here. These are also self-adjusting. So as that pad wears down and gets a little bit thinner, it's gonna automatically fill this with fluid. You don't need to stop and tighten cables or adjust the brakes. It's self-adjusting until you need to replace those pads which is a do-it-yourself procedure. You just kind of remove this caliper and slide some new pads in there. Um, the one disadvantage with hydraulic brakes, if you do have a problem, it may not be a do-it-yourself repair uh, because there is fluid in here. So you do need a couple special tools to be able to bleed that system and make sure there's no air in there. So that's something to consider. You know, we go back to the mechanical here. They're gonna be much easier for do-it-yourself service, but they do require more fiddling and more adjustments. The hydraulics are gonna be a little less, uh, a little more maintenance-free overall. But then again, when they do require some adjustment, you're gonna need some special tools or you're gonna to need to go to the bicycle store, which again, they're very reliable, so you, you don't really have to focus on that too much. And another thing that folks talk about is really stopping distance, right? And my personal thought on this is that both brakes are strong enough to lock up the wheel. So once that wheel locks up and you're skidding, you really lost connection with the road. So both systems do have adequate braking power. Uh, so I think that's something to keep in mind when you're when you're comparing and contrasting the two different types there. All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out our video here about hydraulic disc brakes and mechanical disc brakes. Any questions, check out our website, evelo.com. Give us a buzz or shoot us an email.